Hey, what's happening, guys? We are back with part two in our little Arduino project. <clears throat> now, in part one, we used a potentiometer and a MOSFET to control this fan from our Arduino. And I said that in part two, we would kick it up a notch. That's what we're going to do. If you haven't seen part one, I'll link to it down below. Watch it first so you can understand what's going on. Now, the reason that we want to use relays is twofold. Uh, number one, we get to isolate whatever the relay is activating from our Arduino circuit. And number two, it allows us to use much higher current uh, draw than the Arduino can provide. Remember, the digital pins and the analog pins on the Arduino max out at about 40 milliamps. Now, we used this fan before, which doesn't draw too much, and we used an external power supply, and we used a MOSFET to control it using PWM. But what I want to show you today is that if I hook this up to my power supply, and this fan is rated for up to 6 volts, and I'm giving it 6 volts right now, and if you look at the power supply, you can see the fan is drawing 240 milliamps, basically a quarter of an amp. So there's no way the Arduino can supply that much power. But we can use a relay to do that. Now what I've got here is a little Songle relay module that can drive three separate relays and we've got them set up here with uh, the potentiometer again as our input device. So if I power up our little system here and you see right now hopefully you can see it says all off and there are no LEDs lit. Now if we advance the potentiometer between 1 and I think I did it at 333 the first relay should turn on. You can see the LED is lit and it says heat on. Our value there is 180. Now we're at 400 and you can see it says cool on and the second relay is lit and the first relay is off and then once we go above 666 it says fan on the third relay is lit the first two are off if we go back down we can get into position two where the second relay is position one and then we go all the way down and it turns them all off this is not much more difficult than what we did originally calls for a little bit more logic but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook this fan up to uh, the third relay the fan position so I can show you how we have separated the Arduino from the fan okay I've hooked the fan up to the relay number three and it is in the normally open position so as you can see it's not on and we are feeding it with about six volts so I'm going to power up our system here. And in this case we can use the USB for power because we're not powering the fan from the Arduino. Okay, so we are in the all off position. There's position one. Relay one is on. There's position two relay 2 is on and now when I drive this to over 666 that'll go position 3 position 3 will turn relay 3 on and the fan should come on there it is and as you can see that fan is drawing 230 milliamps which would smoke your Arduino right quick and then when we drop that out of that position everything should turn off 
yet it doesn't. Why? It's not reading the potentiometer for some reason. That's strange. I wonder what's going on there. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Oh, and it doesn't read it. Very interesting. This might take a moment. Aha! I think I found the problem. There's another connector here called R ground. So I think we need to put that on there. One, two, three, two, one. There we go. So it's getting some back EMF that was screwing up our system. Always got to have your grounds. I should have thought of that. <laughs> okay, let's go take a look at the code. But in the meantime, it's getting kind of warm in here. I think I'll turn my fan on. Okay, let's take a look here and see what we got. This is the Arduino Potentiometer Controlled Relay Module this time, which is like version 2 of the program. We haven't added any more libraries. We haven't added any more variables. We do have a little change here in our setup. We have three more pin mode commands. Uh, pin mode 2 to output, pin mode 3 to output, and pin mode 5 to output. That's where our relay module is hooked up to the digital pins. Now on digital pin 5 here you're asking why I didn't use pin 4. Well we can't use pin 4 because pin 4 is in use right here by the OLED module so we have to uh, skip that one. Alright so we come down here and the beginning of our program is still the same. The first thing we're going to do is read the potentiometer which simply says uh, this variable pot read will equal the value that is currently in A0. Then we'll do a little screen setup here and we'll begin our program logic. And it is an if else statement. And it basically goes like this. We're going to say if this variable pot read in this case is greater than 2 because sometimes it doesn't like to return to 0 when we go back down it'll get stuck on like one so we'll just say if greater than two and and you need to use the double ampersands pot read is less than 334 that will be put us in position one so in position number one we are going to energize the first relay which is on pin two open the other two relays make our size big so it's easy to read and we'll print to the screen heat on. Then we're going to check if the system is in position 2 which says if pot read is greater than 333 and less than 667 we'll be in position 2 so we will in this case energize the second relay, open the first two relays and print cool on and then our third position is if pot read is greater than 666 We'll energize the third relay, open the first two, and we will tell it fan on. And then we have this last else statement which says if none of these conditions are true, the system must be off. And if the system is off, we will de-energize all of our relays and print all off on the screen while we're actually printing it to the OLED buffer. Because now we drop down here and we print out that buffer wait 100 milliseconds clear the display and that's the logic of that all right so there you have version 2 of our little system here which is still pretty simple very easy to understand we're just activating different relays depending on the position of the potentiometer and you might say well what use is that well, it's really not a lot of use. We're simply saying that this is our input device, our sensor. But in part three, we're going to kick it up a notch again 
and we'll use this little guy here which is a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor yeah 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 now we'll be able to control which relay is on depending upon either the heat or the humidity and what we'll do this time is we'll set it up so if it's below a certain temperature threshold the heat is on if it's above a certain temperature uh, threshold the cooling is on and if the humidity is over a certain point we will turn the fan on so that ought to make it interesting for the next part I hope I see you here anyway thanks for watching a big thanks to all the patrons if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up feel free to like comment share and don't forget to subscribe we're almost up to 42,000 subscribers at this point. That's pretty cool. That's it. I'm out. Peace.